Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel Sukriti Edutech. Today we are going to discuss about factors and multiples. So let us start the video. To understand the factor, first understand the term perfectly divisible. What is perfectly divisible? So we will see the perfectly divisible by the following examples. Let us divide these numbers. As we are dividing this number, we know that 2 fives are 10 and it leaves 0 as the remainder. But when we divide this, it will 3 3 is a 9 and it leaves 1 as a remainder. So what we see in these examples? We see that when 10 is divided by 2, it leaves remainder 0. So it is perfectly divisible. This one is perfectly divisible but when we divide we see in another case that it leaves one as a remainder that means it is not perfectly divisible so 10 is perfectly divisible by 2 but not perfectly divisible by 3 that means this is perfectly divisible so we can say that a factor of a number is an exact divisor of that number so we will understand the factors with the following examples like uh, let we have to find out the factors of 8 8 divided by 1 that is 8 8 divided by 2 that is 4 8 divided by 4 that is 2 8 divided by 8 that is 1 so we can say that factors of 8 are 1 2 4 8 let us see another example that is factor of 12 what we see that when we divide 12 with 1, it leaves 12, 12 divided by 2, it is 6, 12 divided by 3, 4, 12 divided by 4, it's 3, 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 12 divided by 12, it's 1. So we know that the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. As we are seeing in these examples, so let us understand the properties of factors first we will understand the properties of factors then we will try to know how we can find out the factors so first what we know that factors of 8 are 1 2 4 8 factors of 12 1 2 3 4 6 12 because these numbers are perfectly divisible by 12 these numbers are perfectly divisible by 12. So these are the factors of 12. And factors of 14, 1, 2, 7, 14. So, J students, can you see what is the common number in these factors? What is the common number in these factors? We see that 1 is a common number in all of these factors. So we can say that 1 is a factor of every number. And also, when we arrange these numbers in increasing orders, so we see that 1 is also a smallest factor of a number. So we can say that 1 is the smallest factor of every number. So this is one of the property of the factors that 1 is the smallest factor of every number. Let's come to another property that every number is a factor of itself it's true that when we have to find out the factors of 8 8 is there can you see when we have to find out the factors of 12 12 is there so 12 is a factor of 12 so we can say that every number is a factor of itself now we see that factors of definite their numbers, they are limited, limited numbers of uh, any factors like 1, 2, 4, 8. And, and a, no number is greater than 8 can be a factor of 8. So, the largest factor of any number is the number itself. Largest factor of any number is the number itself. And we can say that a factor of any number is always less than or equal to that number this is also a property of the factors so 
I will repeat that every number is a factor of itself. 1 is the smallest factor of every number. A factor of any number is always less than or equal to that number. So, these are the properties of factors. Let us study about the multiples. So, as we see the multiples. So, what is the difference between the factors and multiples? Let us understand the multiples first. Then, we will discuss the properties of the multiples. So, starting from 0, sums of 4 are represented on a number line. How? I am just arranging the numbers. I will start from 0. So, it's a jumps of 4. So, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Again, I will arrange the numbers. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, when we come 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, 18, 19, 20. So, let, it un let us understand multiples from this example. Okay, when we have to jump from 0, we will go, it's a 4 jump, so we will move to 4 number. After that, we will move to 8 and 12 and 16 and then 20. So, this, this is what? We can represent it as 0 multiply by 4 is 0. 1 multiply by 4 is 4. 2 multiply by 4 is 8. And 3 multiply by 4 is 12. And 4 multiply by 4 is 16. And 4 multiply by 5 multiply by 4 is 20. Okay, let us set another examples. I will take the jumps of 5. Now I will arrange the numbers like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is 0. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, 17, 18, 19, this is 20. So, we can represent this again like this, 0 multiply by 5, that is 0, 5 multi, 1 multiply by 5, that is 5, and 2 multiply by 5, that is 10. And 3 multiply by 5, that is 15. And 4 multiply by 5, that is 20. So, we see that these are the numbers which appear in the table of 4, is it? Like 4 multiply by 1, 1 that is 4. Then 8, 16 and 20. Is it the table of 4? And when we arrange these numbers like... 5, 10, 15, and 20. So, these numbers appear in the tables of the required number like 4, 1's are 4, 4, 2's are 8, 4, 4, 3's are 12, sorry, 4, 4's are 16, and 4, 5's are 20, 5, 1's are 5, 5, 2's are 10, 5, 3's are 15, and 5, 4's are 20. So, these numbers appear in the tab table of 4 and 5 respectively. So, we will discuss the properties of the multiples. So, we can say multiples of a number are the numbers which appear in the table of that number and exactly divisible by that number. Or in definition way, we can say a number is said to be a multiple of any of its factor. Okay, so let us understand this. As we see, I'll discuss the proper. First, we will discuss the properties of the multiples. As we see, these are the these are the multiples of six. These are the multiples of six. Multiples of six. So six multiply by zero, as I already discussed. That zero, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty are the multiples of six. 
we can find a lot of multiples if we have to find like what is the hundredth multiple of six we will multiply six with hundred uh, hundred and we will get six hundred we can get if we would have to find out what is the thousandth multiple of six we will multiply six with thousand and we will get six thousand as the multiple of six so we can find lots of multiples there is no limitations so what can be the property of multiples so every number is a multiple of one how when we have to multiply one multiply by five that is five so every number is a multiple of one every number is a multiple of itself see when we have to find out the multiples of five, five what we say 0 5 10 15 20 so 5 is appearing in its table so 5 is every number is a multiple of itself we can say take another examples like 0 6 12 18 24 so 6 is appearing in its table so 6 is also a multiple of 6 so every number is a multiple of itself a multiple of a number is either equal to or greater than the number itself every time it is equal to that number multiples of any number are endless because if you have to find out the hundredth multiple of five like what we, uh, if you are asked that uh, what is the hundredth multiple of five you just multiply five with hundred and you will get five hundred so you can find lots of multiples in this way so multiples of any number are endless and zero is a multiple of every number zero is a multiple of every number we will discuss it uh, in detail that why zero is a multiple of every number zero is a multiple of every number then four multiply by zero what comes zero 22 multiply by zero that comes what comes zero 79 multiply by zero what comes zero so we see that zero can be obtained in the multiplications of every number so zero is a multiple of every number so these are the properties of factors and multiples our next video will be on prime numbers and composite numbers please like share and subscribe my channel to get the latest notifications we will meet you in the next video. Thank you so much.